This piece of paper is going to change not only how I test all grinders in the future on my channel, but it can actually change the face of coffee grinding technology. And it's bloody free. So this is the Unspeciality Grind Size Analyzer. I'll leave a link to this tool in the description and later on this video, I'm gonna show you my test results with these three grinders. But first, let me explain why I think this is pretty cool. This tool has two components, a piece of paper that you print out with some framing guides on it and a place to upload your photo. You put some coffee grinds on it, just a sprinkle like this, and then you upload your photo. The software will tell you what the average particle size is and the distribution of those grinds, which it shows as a graph. Machines that can do this cost a lot, so the ability to do it with just a printout and your phone really democratizes grinder testing. The first thing I thought was that if we can get this into enough people's hands, we could save tons of coffee, dialing in for everyone forever. A particle size in microns gives you a much more objective measure of what grind size you should use for a given coffee. You know when you see people asking in the home espresso aficionados group what setting you should set your grinder to? Well, instead of a billion comments telling you that your question shows just how ignorant you are about coffee, you could get some particle size answers which you can then set up your grinder and test afterwards. By running a small amount of coffee through your grinder once every few months, you can find out that, for example, 15 is around 6 600 microns, 10 is around 450 microns, and 20 is around 750 microns. So then you can find what a good starting point would be for your next coffee. The coffee roaster could even put on the bag that the ideal grinding setting is around 540 microns for an espresso, and then you can go straight to close to that dialing in point. Yes, there will be differences based on the machine, the basket, whether you're using paper filters or puck screens, but the starting point is there. Then for testing on channels like mine, I can show you what the distribution is like, rather than just giving you my best educated guess on how well a grinder is performing. I can show you how it stacks up to other grinders in terms of grind uniformity, so you can more easily make a decision about whether or not you would like to buy this grinder. I've mentioned this a few times on the channel, so I won't go into too much depth, but the more uniform a grind size, the more clarity of flavour you're going to get in the cup. So if the grind size becomes more bimodal, that is to say two peaks like this, then the body and the texture is going to be a little bit more at the expense of clarity of flavour. Now I'm going to test the three grinders I mentioned earlier, and I'll make a folder to keep those test results in and put them up for comparisons when I need to, when I have a new grinder in here to test. First up is my current daily driver, the DF83 with SSP high uniformity burrs. It's worth around £800, and I expect the particle size should look very uniform. Another one I reviewed recently is the DF64V with DLC coated burrs. This one is around £500, and I'll test that variable grinding speed. I'll show you the grind on 800 RPM and then another one on 1600 RPM and see what doubling the speed does to the grind variance. Then there's the fellow Opus, which is a more budget friendly entry on the list at around £200. Just about capable of doing espresso, but as I mentioned in my review of it, it's lacking the adjustability and it is a stepped grinder and no variable adjusting speed. An important point is that all particle size testing is complex. At first, I was getting some pretty variable and odd results, but after having some messages back and forth with Ukjin from Unspecialty, it made more sense. If you don't separate the grinds from one another, sometimes the algorithm can read two particles next to each other as one bigger particle. This will throw off your testing quite a bit, and I found a good workaround, which is either to blow the grinds or drop them from a height onto the paper so they get more evenly distributed and aren't compressed together by your fingers if you were to pick them up and pinch them. You also want to make sure that you aren't adding any shadows when you take the photo so you can get a clean image. And before I take the photo, I always make sure to pull any grinds off the markers so they can easily be read. You can see from these results that the high uniformity SSP burrs, as expected, are working as intended and just have that one spike here, which is likely to lead to good clarity of flavour. The difference in low speed and high speed on the DF64V was really interesting and what we'd expect as well, with the higher speed having slightly more fines and courses and the lower speed being a little bit more uniform. I also want to note that the Opus here is on its absolute finest setting and that these results show the stark difference between not only an expensive and a cheap grinder, but also between flat 
cat and conical bird distribution styles. Now, are there some inconsistencies with this kind of testing? Definitely, yes. I spoke with someone from Mazza about this recently, and she told me that even in the Mazza factory, when they use different birds with much more expensive particle analyzers, you might not be able to tell the difference just looking at a graph, when you can definitely tell the difference when you're tasting. But I still think that having this data is better than having no data at all. There are clear differences between different size birds and different grinder assemblies, but I'll always remind you when I do these tests in future videos to take these results with a pinch of salt. Now, I'd love to hear what your test results for your own grinder say, so if you want to give this a try at home, go check out the free online tool in the description and comment below the numbers say. And if you want to see my review of one of my favorite grinders, you should be able to click to that on your screen right now. Thank you so much for watching, you wonderfully overcaffeinated people, and I'll see you on the next one.